I'm Jim Check. You're watching Cologne Now. I'm here with Kayla Caruana, and we're doing our Tesla Talks. We, and we didn't get our intro. I know Jason's, uh, he's been in back to back to back to shows. It's and, so uh, good, too. <laughs> the yeah. intro's so good. Maybe yeah. can you put it at the end there while there you're waiting you there? He's going to yeah. the intro at the end. So we're going to talk about the Cybertruck. Cybertruck lands in Canada. Finally. Finally. People Long can now night. buy the Cybertruck in Canada. Good news, bad news, though. Yeah. <laughs> Only the Foundation Series is available right now. They're still selling that Foundation Series. I sent you a couple images, Jason. Do you have those? So um, we'll show you what the Foundation Series sells for Canadian. It's right there on the price there. one thirty-seven nine ninety dollars for the Foundation Series. And you think that's it. <laughs> you think that's it? And then you add the taxes? <laughs> so yeah. we do have a little breakdown of what it would be. Um, yeah, so one thirty-seven nine ninety. dollars $35,000 in taxes, $35,000 mm -hmm. in taxes. So $20,000 just in provincial taxes. And with that luxury tax now? Yeah, yeah. and then the luxury tax of seventy five ninety eight, right? Yeah. So so that one thirty seven nine ninety climbs to one seventy three. dollars so 35000 in taxes. So once the foundation series is done, the regular Cybertruck is supposed to be available, which should be around $35,000 less. Wow. Which is in line with like the... Ford F-150 Lightning in that. And I wonder if they're going to do the same thing. You can probably take that off the screen now. I wonder if they're going to do the same thing that they did with all of the other ones that have come to Canada and come through, and this, as the series kind of comes out, they become a little bit more affordable. But Yeah, I hope so. Um, I did get my email. It says, you can order one. And, I'm, and I looked at it just like, yeah, I'm like, like, that's a lot of tax. It's a lot in taxes. Uh, yeah, just, just tax, right, right off the right? top. So, that's another um, car. Yeah, and I mean, I can be patient and I'll wait for the um, the regular Cybertruck. Yeah, fair enough. Instead of that sticker that you get on the side. You do get a couple of things, I guess, extra on the Foundation Series. You get the sticker. Yep. Or the wow. etching. etching. Yep. Expensive looking sticker. It comes with full self-drive, which isn't active yet on there. So there's uh, that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because how wide is it? The truck? I haven't got a chance to drive it. I but sat, well, you sat in one too, right? I just saw the outside oh, of it. Oh, okay. Yep, I sat in, in one. In Phoenix. Yeah. They're really nice and comfortable inside. Yeah, they're very yeah. nice, yeah. How does it feel in terms of, like, if you were to contrast it to another truck? Pickup truck? Yeah. I'd say similar. Similar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like very the similar. interior? Roomier inside. Roomier? Because like, you got a flat floor. So Makes like sense. In the, the back seat, when I jumped on the back seat, I tested all the seats. So the back seat and the middle seat seemed like a really good seat because you had such vision because you had glass roof and you had this huge windshield in front of you. Flat floor. Flat floor. Yeah. So super comfortable and it kind of like a really wrap around your kind of bucket seat too, right? So, nice. And of course, Tesla's minimalist inside, right? Yeah. Like the dash and everything. It's right? classy. So, classy. Yes. And no, no screen, just like the threes and the and the Ys, right? Oh. No, no screen in front of you. So just the display on the side. Okay. I wonder if the, well, no, this foundation series doesn't have the screen in front no. either. No. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, they didn't let me inside of it. Right. I was, was standing it, was around it a mall waiting. Or whatever, right? Yeah, like, I was standing mall, around yeah. waiting, and the guy's like <laughs> kind of looking around. I'm like, can I get in it? No. <laughs> yeah, so, so I, I don't think, I think they're just starting to deliver the Model 3 performances in Canada, too. So that, that's, you know, interesting that the Foundation Series is now available in Canada. You just and have you to can, wait a little longer for your yeah, truck. That's right. Yeah. And then uh, full self drive. Uh, 12.5 is still not released to models like ours, like Hardware 3. So supposedly that is done now, and they're starting to roll it out into Hardware 3. That's great. Yeah, so yeah. then you can get full self-drive to the 12.5 instead of the 12.3.6. Okay. Everybody's probably thinking, what are you talking yeah, about? You're, yeah, they're like, uh, <laughs> over my head. Yeah. Yeah, supposedly 12.5 uh, full self-drive is... We've gotten a few updates, though, since yeah, we updates, last yeah. talked about the, um, the full self-drive, but... Other than that, it hasn't changed anything fundamentally, I guess. Yeah, so 12.5 is supposed to be the big change. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a, I'm going to get this number of 14 times improvement. So oh, wow. Big dramatic improvement. <laughs> How? Don't touch the wheel. That's one. Oh. You know what I mean? No, because oh, that yes, nag, the we nag is gone. That. Yeah, the yeah, nag is the gone. Nag, the nag is gone, yeah. It's, yeah it does you, nag you. You don't even have to get a divorce and the nag is gone. <laughs> <laughs> it does nag you because every hey, yeah every couple of minutes you can't yeah. even you can't even wear sunglasses and like look yeah. look the other way they're like hey you're, you're not, not supposed to be attention. on your phone you're not supposed to look at this. Nope, <laughs> not supposed to do any of that yeah yeah no yeah. Uh, other than that um there's quite a few deals on used uh EVs well, out there right so now, they'll right? have that deal as well for used cyber trucks but that's not for years because obviously yeah you need somebody to sell one yeah and then there'd be no so tax be. on used ones. I don't know what the deal would be if you went to the states and bought because there's lots for sale in the states now on auto, like on their auto. Trade. Good point. Used Maybe used Cybertrucks in the U.S. 
But I'm I'm not the, the one thing that I have a question about. There's no PST on used um, EVs in British Columbia. But I, I wonder what it would be if you brought it from out of province. They've got to have know. some sort of because they'll have, have to have, to have the inspections question. and things. Yeah, but I just don't know how all of that works. Yeah, that's super interesting. Because there's no initial PST plate on the, the vehicle that was bought and other. Yeah, and like then the coming States across the states. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, you only pay on registration, though, so I wonder mm-hmm. how it's handled. Like, yeah. Good question, man. We'll find that out. We'll find that out for next there time. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Um, how, how have you been? How's your good. Model uh, 3 treating you? I love it. Yeah. yeah, I think, like, if I, I think we talked about this before, but if I was to do it again, I would go probably with the Y, knowing what I know now. Um, just just a little bit of extra space. Yeah, a little extra space. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, and you love the X, so I, it's kind of like that. That's that, my dream that, that middle, That middle kind of, like point between the three and the, and yeah. the X, right? Yeah, yeah. So. And I was thinking one of these episodes, maybe we could talk about just kind of like the extension of companies that Elon has, and we're talking about all sorts of things that are happening with his companies. We can talk about Tesla and everything and yeah, see. Yeah, for sure. A yeah. um, couple of interesting things going on. We can even yeah. touch on a little bit. First, Tesla's uh, semi delivered in Europe. Yeah, and then there's Where? A, they delivered in Germany, I guess. Oh. And then the first uh, Cybertruck made it to China. And, that uh, is so interesting. It's like a star everywhere it goes. It gets photos. I mean, I can imagine pictures that. Pictures of it everywhere here too. I could, still, yeah. right? I took a v- video of it as yeah, soon as I saw it in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Starlink is really making big inroads with their small little mini dish. I have Starlink at home. Uh, not the mini dish, but the big dish on the roof. I've yep. it for like close to two years now. How does it work for you? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. No contract. Any, yeah. Any sort of like uh, pros and cons? Uh, I mean, we used to have <clears throat> Shaw at the house for a while. Yep. I mean, this is a long time ago now with Shaw, and we would have, like, drop-offs in service, and they said it was because other people were downloading movies and that, and then oh. we would just kind of, like, spin, so then we switched to Telus Fiber, yep. and that was great for a while, and then all of a sudden we started having drop-offs. They were out there probably at least five, six times, and we were having, you know, you get that, you're watching a movie, and all of a sudden it spins, and you're yeah, just, like... buffering. Yeah. And you're just like, what? So they come out, and they check it, and... They say it's fixed, and then mm-hmm. does it again, and does it again. And supposedly we had unlimited fiber, so I'm not sure why. But huh. then we always had issues. And then I put Starlink on a couple of years ago and haven't had any issues. So. Wow. I would love to know like, more about that just because it's it's always such a battle between, like, the huge monopoly companies. And then the cool thing yeah. about Starlink is that you can move it, right? Yeah. Like, you know, like if you're, say, if you're with Telus or Shaw and you move sometimes – you have to hook it up right away, or you know what I mean. You have to sign contracts. Yeah, you usually. have to yeah call ahead and There's get everything. There's no contract moved. with uh, Starlink, and then they That's are offering the mini. I don't think it's in Canada yet, but the mini is like the size of a laptop. Yeah. So that means you could take it camping and stuff oh, like that. There you so go. hopefully, Starlink will now become available in cars soon. And then the other big thing that with the Tesla group, of, I guess it's not the Tesla group, but Elon's group of companies, yeah. uh, Grok two launched. Really? So Grok 2 launched, I think, about a week ago. And Grok 2 is huh. if, if you're a premium member on X, yeah. you get access to Grok 2 now. And okay. Grok 2 can do images. That is so interesting. Yeah. So he's building a huge dojo for Tesla. Tesla's like leading so many ways in AI. So they their are. Optimus robot is yeah. part of that. And we should definitely talk about that, especially with the AI. The robot. Have up. you ever seen the robot yet? No, I haven't. Robot. Only well, I've only seen videos, uh, but like small clips. I yeah. haven't watched. But they have a robot in some of the dealerships now, like or the. Oh yeah, the, sorry. The, there was one. The, he, the it fake wasn't robot, kind of thing. Yeah, the, it was. The, yeah. the mannequin robot. Right? Yeah, I took so a picture of that. I took a picture holding his hand. <laughs> <laughs> that would be us. We would be taking pictures that's of that. That's right. It's like, hey, look, it's yeah. a robot. That's funny. Um, yeah, and there's so much going on with the the group of companies for sure. With I think Starlink is set to become the largest uh, communications company in the world. That's it's probably wild. one of the few that are global. Just like the right? disruptions that he's made in industries, it's it is wild. Yeah, and then yeah. they are building a mega pack factory in China right now. That news came out last night uh, for for the mega packs for the the yep. energy storage. Yep. Um, in three months, it's forty five percent complete. They build stuff fast in China, man. That is like, wild, and it's. Massive. You go on Tesla's uh, footprint and you go look and you see that image. I don't know if you could find that, Jason. Yeah. Uh, this factory is massive and f- and it's 45% done in three months. That is How do you do that? Wild. Yeah. So yeah, Jason, that, is, a, that is incredible. Well, you just think about like... You just go on the Tesla. Um, also the demand for speed. Sorry, for energy, ahead. yeah. And he, was, he was looking for it. He was looking? <laughs> 
Uh, it's the mega, mega pack fa factor. Yeah. Mega pack. But in terms of just like the demand that people have to to get the technology changes so fast and so the demand that people have to have things come out very quickly like i could just see elon being like well we got to get it done let's go as yeah, fast no, they, as we can they, they, tesla is more than a car company obviously it's an energy company yeah like, and solar panels Absolutely. and and He's optimus the robot and you know what i mean so many different things and ai obviously is a big component of what tesla yeah. is right so and with the conference coming up we got lots oh yeah lots right we got things. that conference coming up too so that we're going to talk about ai and, and tesla's like Deep in that stuff. There you go. That's the mega factory, I think. I don't know if that's going to show us. Um, How big it is. Wow. That, that's obviously a different mega factory. Top of the line, yeah. though, hey? Yeah. Anything he does, top of the line. There you go. But in terms of, like, the size of this factory, you're saying that it's 45%. 45% complete in, Crazy. in, in 90 days. Like, that's huh? wild. Like, who does that? Who How builds a factory like people that? People can't, yeah, we can't build anything here in less than, like, a year. Well, China's <laughs> been very fast at building lots of things, right? Like they, they are build, fast. They build things Again, the quickly. demand, you know. Lots of tilt-up stuff, I guess, though, too, right? Yeah. In factories. Yeah. I don't think he's finding it, Hey, eh? That's okay. Maybe oh, we'll have it look, for next He's time. looking like he found something, but maybe, maybe not. In terms of the um, a the AI summit coming up on September twenty seventh, there's going to be um, quite a few speakers. Maybe it'll shed some light on. Yeah, so one of the big ones is Peter Diamandis. I've seen him um, speak. You, there you go. Loved um, it. He's the founder of XPRIZE. Loved it. <laughs> founder of XPRIZE, and Elon Musk has given him a yeah. uh, hundred and thirty or one hundred forty million dollars for for a prize. I think a hundred ten million dollars for that prize, um, and that's for. Whoever can come up with the best carbon capture. Huh. And then there's another prize out there for. Wild. I think it's $100 million for whoever can come up with um, some pro, some way to extend life, the average life by 20 years. I was going to say the healthcare thing. Because like he Peter believes that we can extend life to 400 years. Yeah. So yeah, and he's life just saying, here's, he's you get it up to get 20 force. plus years, right? Yeah. So, crazy. Um, and then there's a, a one for which appeals to us in the Okanagan. Is, um, is that it? I think so. But there was Wild. a picture of it. No, that would, uh, I don't know, maybe. Where is that? Look at the, <laughs> look at the background. Yeah. That looks like it's on Mars. We'll find that picture for next time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But yeah, there's an XPRIZE for wildfire mitigation too. There's oh, okay. $10 million XPRIZE right now for Someone's wildfire gonna, mitigation. Yeah. That's for detection, fast detection with AI, and then autonomous uh, drones to put it out. What? Think of the world. You know? Well, if you think about it, if they have autonomous drones that can go out and put out the fires and they Before. can work 24-7, because right now we, we yeah. the, the helicopters and the planes uh, go home at dark and then the fire does a thing all night. Yeah. And just think if we could triple our time on the fire yep. by fighting it all yep. night. And just as an, a plus tool. Plus attacking it faster yeah. too, right? Yeah, like so. having it as a tool to have our backs too because... And there's a couple of local yeah. companies that are working on AI detection too with sensors. Really? There's one up in Predator Ridge I did an interview with. I think it's Genesis. Um, so they have uh, sensors out there and cameras for early detection. Wow. And then they're sending that information into the fire departments and that. So. That is so... Like the world that we live in is... is cr and it's think of the adoption rate... Right? of ai like yeah. how much faster all of these things are going to start to come out and change our whole world yeah so that ai summit we're holding on september 27th um and then it's going to be like a, a you know like peter's going to share an overview of what's going on like what's going on in the world um and his what speech, to expect. His speech well anything yeah. he does is really great he's he does got, moonshots too he's right, got his, so. yeah he's got his finger on the pulse of all yeah. things ai so. he's listed as one of the top 50 entrepreneurs in the world wild and then uh by fortune right yeah. yeah, and then um, Kane and Alicia will tell you how to apply a lot of that stuff to your business today. Practical knowledge to get like love how it. to how to use it in your business, like right now. Yeah, love I mean, it. I use it. I use. I use it every day. Yeah, I use yeah. it every day too. Right. Well, yeah. we're kind of techies, right? Like yeah. we drive. We drive I a full self drive a car, and then we. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, I think that's all we'll do for today. But um, we got the outro. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us on Tesla Talks. It's been great. And we'll